Jonathan, at uh, Texas Values, you've set up a, a website that is uh, that stresses that one can love the the mother as well as the child. Uh, it seems like you're making an effort to kind of affirm the culture of life in Texas and emphasize that protecting the child is also in the interest of the mother. You're actually helping both. No, that's absolutely right. The website's called lovethembothtexas.com. You know, now that we're moving forward on the life issue, and there's still work to be done, I mean, I think it's a major issue in this election at the national level, the federal level, the state level, and so on. But in many ways, Texas has spoken strongly at that issue with our state house and our Senate um, in both chambers and, and our governor as well, uh, certainly our lieutenant governor, Dan Patrick, and, and Governor Greg Abbott. Um, but sometimes people think, oh, you just care about the child. That's never been true. I mean, we've always cared about the mother and the child, but the more that we can do to make that clear, that's what we're working on as we move forward. And lovethembothtexas.com, the website has resources on there, connections, links, trying to get everybody to come together. So if you're looking for a place to have resources or you run a nonprofit, you want to find out how the child can be supported and the mother throughout this process, um, that's where there's a lot of great information, sort of a, a clearinghouse, a collection point of a lot of things there. But to continue to get that message strong out there that we do love them both, a lot of people aren't aware of this. The state of Texas has a program, it's called Thriving Families Now. It used to be called the Alternatives to Abortion Program. But um, mothers and families can get care for their children all the way up till three years old after the baby is born when they have circumstances, crisis pregnancy, things of that nature. And so um, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to help people make uh, be more aware of that. That fund has about $130 million in it over a two-year cycle. So a lot of support, and you may get a kick out of this, a lot of that money and funding has been shifted away from some liberal programs at the state of level, state level that we felt like were not working or were sort of wasteful or uh, headed in a different direction. And so it's not as if there's you know more taxes because of this. It's it's funding that was already there. Now it's being moved in a much more healthy and positive and a life affirming direction. 